Hey guys, Ken Davis here from Acme Tools, and today we're gonna give you five secrets to success to make clean miter saw cuts. So we all know that miter saws are a great general purpose tool for rough cutting some lumber, but they can also be used for some finer, high quality type of work, such as doing the trim on the inside of a house or making a picture frame. So our first tip is the tooth count on your blade. Now, generally, the higher the tooth count on the blade, the finer the cut. But with that, you'll also need to push the blade through slower. Now on this saw, we're running the stock 60 tooth blade on here. So this is gonna be a decent quality cut. Something closer to the 80 or 96 tooth count would produce an even higher quality cut. So when using a sliding miter saw like what we have right here, what we really recommend is using a negative tooth pitch angle blade. The reason being is it's gonna help with tear out of the material and it'll also keep the saw from kicking that end piece back at you. So the second tip that we have for you is an important one as it relates to keeping the wood in good condition. Now after you've completely made the cut through the wood, it's important that you leave the blade in the down position and wait for the blade to fully stop spinning before you remove it from your material. And there's two really good reasons for that. The first one is that if the blade is still spinning as you take it out of the material, it could cause a tooth to catch and pull up some of the material that you've just cut. The second reason for it is if you pull the blade out of the material before it stops spinning, it could catch the leftover piece and launch it across the shop at your buddy. So the third tip that we have for you to ensure that you get smooth and accurate cuts with your miter saw is to make sure that you have some sort of extendable platform on the saw. Now there's three different ways that this might come. You might have extendable work platforms on the saw itself. You might have extendable work platforms on the saw stand, or you might have a rolling miter saw stand. Now this stand that we have with us today does have the extendable supports on it, and it is also a rolling miter saw stand as well. This is going to help you make a nice accurate cut with a longer piece of wood, such as what we have here, as it's gonna keep the blade from binding up on you. So tip number four is a great way to increase the cut capacity of your saw. Now as we all know, there might be times where your workpiece is a little more demanding than what the saw can put out because it's got a little more width than the saw's actual cut capacity. So a great way to get around that is to take a three quarter inch piece of plywood and put it underneath the original piece. And by doing this, you'll raise that piece closer to the saw blade and increase the cut capacity. So tip number five is a quick way to make repeatable cuts. And what we have here is a simple scrap piece of wood and we're actually gonna clamp it down to the table of the miter saw in the dimension in which you need the cut to be made each time. Now most miter saws will come with an on the table clamp like what you see here, but if your miter saw doesn't have one of these, you can always substitute in a generic C clamp to get your scrap piece of wood set at the length you need. Thanks for watching with us today. Don't forget to subscribe for more tips, demonstrations, and other great videos.